Hi friends, this is the Smart Excel. This video is all about AND function, and as I, as you know, I have already started the AND function in the you normal Excel. So the same thing I'll be showing you how to do in Power Query, and Power Pivots, and in Measures. So Measures is not really important, but Power Query and Power Pivot. So I'll be showing you too with doing a simple table also. So this is my small table, and what I want is price should be less than or equal to 2,500 bucks, and discount should be more than or equal to 5%. Then I will buy the product. So if you want to, first of all, I have to do in the normal table. So I showed you how to do simple Excel, but this is going to be in table, so there will be a slight changes. So first of all, you have to make this into a table. So right click and I'm going to show in a different way how to make the convert into a table. So table and uh, from table, you can see its name is table two. So let's give some, some different name of green PQ and uh, and now we can speak this is power query. So this will go to a power query. So it will be like equal to The price is less than or equal to 2500. It's an AND function, AND. This is logical one. So when it is logical two, discount is greater than or equal to 5%. It's 5%. So you can see it's percent of your AND in this panel. So you can see false, false, and true. So when you have a table, you don't need to pull the drop down angry rabbit. So I'll give it false and true doesn't give a meaning. So I'll give a meaning as to buy or not to buy. So if open parenthesis, then it will be like buy. Parenthesis. So it's double quotes and it's false, it will be like don't buy. Double quotes and uh, I'll be hitting enter so you can see that two are by way so it's less than uh, five two point five two thousand five hundred bucks and that's greater than or equal to five percent so I can buy this so the same thing I want to do show you with power query so we don't have any queries so I'll be already we have a table it's called PQ so let's take this table into a you go to data and from data table to range. So automatically it will go to a it will go to the power query window. Now I have to make a formula. So I can't again have formulas for simple ones if if then else so conditional formattings. But here it is not going to help. So I have a logical form function. And uh, you can see that if you are using filters in advanced filters. When you want to do filters, you can see I showed you previous video that you can have advanced filter where you can use AND and OR functions. But for uh, this, we don't have AND or OR function to condition format. So I will be doing a custom form. So I'll be naming this as from PQ. This is also going to be PQ column name. The same thing, the same will apply. It is like if then else. If then. So this is the logic in using power query. So if is like if discount, so if price is less than or equal to two thousand five hundred, and discount is greater than or equal to five. Now that I'm going to show you how to use percentage, and see so you can see show error showing an error. So let me complete the formula else. By so when you will use a uh, abbreviation, you should have a double quotes, so it will be like by so it should be like sorry, if then, then by else, don't buy. So we also double quotes, but there is an error. So if I remove this five percent. 
if I because I can't put a percentage. So I'll get an so I'm not getting the right one. So before this, I would like to just go one step. So if you want to go backward, you can click on yes. So before that, I'm going to show you how to go backwards and how to change this into a percentage. So it is asking a new form. So I can say rip is a new one, old one. So it's showing percentage now. But now you can see phi is not working at all. So if I put a percentage, it is not helping. So you can't make the formula complete. So there is an error. So the best thing is you have to do is five percent is zero point zero five. So this is the five percent. So percentage is not recognizing power query, but you can have a percentage from formula. So it's a lengthy one. I don't want to show you and waste your time. So this is the easy one. So let's begin with the easy things in the beginning. So you can see by by and don't buy. So now I'm going to uh, close and load. So now I'm not going to add this into a data model. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how with adding to data model and continuously going to power query. Uh, sorry, power uh, power pivots or data models. So now I'm not doing that. I'm just doing only create a connection and doing OK. So now in power pivot, you can see manage. My sheet is totally empty. So what I'll be doing is the same sheet as I as I converted from data to power query. So now I'm going to go to the same sheet. I have a table ready. PQ. So just so you have to be very careful. Click on any. The table is done. Go to power pivots and you can see add to data model. So the power query formula PQ is not here because I didn't want to get it over here. So what I'll be doing is this is for power pivots. So I'll be writing as PQ. Private. This is for power pivot. So it's the same like what we used in the normal Excel. So it will be like equal to and so open the parenthesis. Price is less than equal to 2500. So we have only two, we can have only two functions here. Logical, not like normal Excel, you can have 256, but here you can have only logical one and logical two. So logical two is discount. Okay, discount is less than equal to. Now, if I make 5%, you can see a red color mark. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it's showing red color. So same thing, we can't use percentage over here, so it will be 0 0.05. And I'll close in the parenthesis, and I'll make it enter. So you can see false, false, true, true. So if you want, you can change this into a percentage also. So it will be better meaning to this. And now I'm going to make an if inside this, if open parenthesis. Logical test is this comma is two by it's don't buy. So let me hit an enter. Now you can see the so this <laughs> don't I, I I didn't complete it so or if it is like now you can see completely. So here is a apostrophe, but I didn't put an apostrophe over. If you want, you can put an apostrophe also. So automatically it gets changed. So now you can make this convert into a power pivot table from here. So if you want a pivot table, you have pivot table, pivot chart, horizontal, four charts, flatten pivot. So there are different options over here. But my purpose of me opening making this video was just to educate the things. So now this has been done. So I showed you in three ways. Now if you want to sh I'm telling you if you want to use measures. So if you want to use measures, if you want to use this thing in measures. So I'll be closing this. And uh, if, uh, for measures, you have to go to manage the table is done you can you have to go to pivot table you have to create into a pivot table into a new sheet 
So now this is in Power Query and this is in Pivot Table. So if you want to add measures, either you can do is we can put a you can do this into pivot by and done by and item also. So two items by and two items don't buy. So if after adding into measure we can create from a measure new measure and you can give a number and use formula so it doesn't it doesn't really you doesn't really need to do all those things but i'm just showing how to do this so it's like and one parenthesis logical one was price so it's like price is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to 2500 so same way and discount and then equal to 5 so we can error it should be 0 0.05 now i'm going to check the formula so you can see it's giving an error the formula is giving an error so please refer to the previous video how to tackle this situation so you should make this into a total unless and until you make this into a total you will get an error so you can keep this into total over here by adding the total so i'm not going to go in their detail the purpose was just how to educate you in showing how to do in power query and power pivots so I hope you find this video very useful because uh, to do uh, and and or functions in Power Query and Power Pivot both are different techniques in normal Excel. So you can see it's a there's a vast difference in doing this. So how to tackle this and uh, how to do this. So next video I'll be showing you how to do the or function also. So in our function, how to do the same things. And uh, I'll be showing you how to add into directly into a data model. So I hope you find this video useful. Please subscribe, like, share this video. Uh, please give me your comments if you if I need some improvisation. And uh, do let me know if there's some other better ways which I can also learn. Please share this video so many people can understand how to use Power Query and functions and how to use in Power Pivots also or data models. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.